Hello and namaste everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is a timeless all signs reading. There are no such things as coincidences. If you found this reading you were meant to find it. If you would like zodiac specific or pick a card readings, please feel free to let me know in the comments. I wholeheartedly welcome constructive feedback. Today we are focusing our energy on the person that hurt you. What will be their karma for hurting you, deceiving you? and taking you through all the heartbreak you endured as a result of their actions or lack thereof. Right away I can see that this person was not mentally or emotionally ready to be in a relationship with you. The fact that they are showing up as the son of pentacles and not the father means that they were moving entirely too slow for you. People should move at their own pace, mind you. But this energy is giving that their speed was inappropriate for the time and energy that you put into this connection and possibly for how long you two have known each other. They should have at minimum had a better idea of what they did or did not want and been transparent about it. Nonetheless, a beautiful relationship blossomed from your connection and you had a lot of high hopes for it. Things may have gone really well in the beginning, but there's evidence that the honeymoon didn't last long and conflict emerged. A lot of fights and arguments, possibly about the level of commitment in the relationship or maybe the lack of this person even making a commitment. The Three of Wands suggests that you really wanted this to work out. There was a good amount of effort put into this and you really tried to work with them in certain aspects of the connection that were not what they should be. So much work was put into this. It seems like it was all in vain though. You just got sucked into their web of empty promises and dishonesty. Let's look at this conflict a bit more. What was at the root of it? Exactly as I thought, the son of wands. This is someone who was non-committal. They ran hot and cold. One minute they're all in, the next minute they're moving weird. You're not stupid or naive. Quite the opposite, actually. You're very observant. You could see this and it bothered you. You may have even tried several times to get them to open up and be honest about things. Didn't seem to work, though. Clarify the Three of Wands, please. Why is the Three of Wands here? The Hanged Man. This is you waiting for change. Possibly even trying to look at things from a different perspective, trying to be as patient as possible. I mean, you really did everything you could to give them the benefit of the doubt for the sake of this working. It didn't work because they didn't match your energy and commitment. So what can this person expect in terms of karma for these actions? for treating you this way. Yikes. So basically, when they are ready for commitment and true love and reciprocity and all of the things that you were trying to give to them, they will not find it, they will not see it, these things will escape and evade them. The Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. These cards represent longevity, having a happy, successful home and family life, stability in both love and finances and living happily ever after. All of this, for a sure fact, they will desire one day soon. But the moon appearing suggests that these things will remain an illusion to them. The moon represents things that are hidden from you, what you cannot see. As a consequence of their actions towards you, and possibly others, this happily ever after will remain hidden from them, right at the time they desire it the most. The Daughter of Cups represents someone making a love offer or a proposal. The Hierophant suggests the desire to get married or increase the commitment level in a relationship. This will remain only a desire of theirs and an unfulfilled one at that. Exactly as I thought. The Ten of Swords represents failure, defeat and a painful ending. It's actually quite sad. It didn't have to be this way. But every action has an equal and opposite reaction. You can't treat people this way and expect to go through life unscathed. Karma is not just spiritual, it's scientific. The Two of Swords means that all of this is a result of decisions that they made. Underneath the deck we have the Three of Swords, the Heartbreak card. This further confirms my prediction that they will not find happiness in love as a result of the pain they caused you. Not only that, they will know in their hearts it's because of how they treated you. The sun represents illumination and clarity. When they are going through these things, 
the thought will come into their mind, is this my karma? Am I paying for my past actions? The Five of Pentacles Hardships, abandonment, feeling left out in the cold, a time of great trouble. This is their future. They will look back and remember you. Remembering the good times and reflecting on the mistakes they made during your time together. Do not be surprised if they pop back up in your life. The Ace of Wands represents new beginnings and new passion. You showing up as the Mother of Swords indicates that this time around, you will operate from your head instead of your heart. This experience has made you much wiser, tougher, and honestly a bit colder. But you know what though, it was for the better. I see you undertaking a gorgeous transformation. Absolutely breathtaking, your energy and aura in the end. The Wheel of Fortune indicating a great change happening in your life. This also indicates that all of this was fate and destiny. There are much better things for you in store, and I love that for you. One chapter ends and another one begins with you having a lot to look forward to. I pray this reading gave you the insight and clarity you were looking for. Please like, comment and share this video if so, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Namaste.